I think I was in a, the library at UCLA, and it was an old book, but I actually read all the Gavrilato died from disease and encroachment on their land. Wow, like what complete erasure when you like read that your own people are said to be gone. So my name is Mercedes and this is uh, where I kind of call my outdoor studio. This area I work in is where the Gavrilano Tongva Indians would have lived. So that's my ancestry on my father's side is the Tongva. But then this house and this land was purchased by my mother's family who's English, French, Caucasian, whatever you want to say. I have access to it for a very different reason. So I negotiate between looking at it with this history of the Tongva and then I also understand it as this home of my grandparents. When I started doing the cultural resource monitoring, you're called to these sites because you're ancestrally connected. And so I came out here and I was like, it, it, it's an interesting exploration in the same way. And I kind of started treating it as its own kind of site. Some of that ceremony kind of became part of me and, and my work out here was kind of redoing some of that. There's always this question for me of how much do I explain? How much do I unravel? How much do I decode? And a lot of our culture has these gaps because of what happened in California and the history and the kind of decimation and our tribe doesn't have a reservation. There's no place to have ceremony. There's no place to rebury our ancestors. There's no real central gathering space to come together. And so there are gaps, things that you can't ever know. Being okay with like filling in those gaps with other things and changing maybe the ceremony a little bit or the material that you're using for me, that's what keeps it alive. At one point, like when we were doing a site with a lot of burials and a lot of the ancestors going back into the ground, I was looking at it as like, I was like a professional mourner, you know? Like, you were there to mourn these people because no one else was gonna do it. A lot of this work is about trying to kind of take something that has a really difficult past, opening that up, can allow for like movement forward to keep it alive there's a simple like you know we're still here 